How's it, Grasshopper? Today we are going to create 2.35 to 1 cinema wide or anamorphic aspect ratio video using Power Doctor 10. Power Doctor 10 doesn't support 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio. So we'll have to first compress the video and then we have to stretch it. Vizio, which has 21 to 9 aspect ratio, to have to do the same. Start the power director and open any projects that you have so that the, uh, we could create three custom pro profiles that we need. One is a 2.35 to 1 cinema wide anamorphic aspect ratio. And the second is a Vizio 21 by 9 and 4K profiles. So we we'll go to produce and choose the container. MPEG 4, default. As you can see, there's no custom profiles. So I'm going to use the um, this one. It's a 1080 full high definition profile and go to create a new profile and click profile name 2.35 to 1 description 3840 by 1634 how do I come up to that number is what you do is divide 3840 with divided by 2.35 then it comes out to the length which is a 1634 rounded off to 1634 and 30p audio video and quality 6 and go to video and again I'm choosing the, uh, the biggest um, the resolution here is 1080 uh, full high definition. Frame rate, I'm going to keep it at uh, 2997. Frame type, progressive. Pro, uh, profile type, I'm going to change to a uh, high profile. Entropy coding, I'll leave it at a Quebec. Uh, rate control, bitch rate, I'm going to change this to 20 so that I, I could change it um, easily, modify it. And advanced this here I'll leave it there audio AAC stereo and 192 I mean it's after you could choose anything you want however if you choose uh, well higher the beach rate then your files gonna be uh, bigger double check okay the next one will be the uh, 21 by 9 Vizio and the description The next one, third one, going to be the um, the 4K profile. Earlier, I, I, I've been saying uh, quad high definition, but that, that's that's wrong. Uh, quad high definition is what the visual is. So this is um, quad full high definition. Oops. First time when I did this uh, back in uh, 2014, I said uh, close the power director without saving. However, if you go back to default and go back to edit, then the power director does not access the uh, profile in e file. Now we go to user, app data, roaming, cyberlink. Power Doctor 10 and uh, this is the file that we are going to modify so if you have um, if, if you have already had your uh, custom profiles made and if you want to save it uh, just in case so save this so that anything happens you could go back now we are going to 
modify the uh, custom profiles that we made. As you can see, first one we made was 2.35 to 1, and the uh, second and uh, third one right here, second one is Vizio, and the third one is 4K. So we will come over here and uh, modify. First, we're going to modify is a pitch rate. This is going to be 50. Power Doctor um, has a minimum bit rate as a 50%. 50% 50 of 20 is 10 mega, megabits per second. So, but I like to keep it at uh, uh, 75%. And then a uh, maximum bit rate is uh, 50.5. And I will come over here to video width. And we're going to change this to 38.40. Video height is a 16. 34 and this is very important if your profile level is less than 65380 then you must change to 65380 if your profile level is higher then do not touch it do not modify it just leave it we done the first one now we'll do the second one second one is a Vizio bitrate was 32 megabits per second and 75% I believe is a 24 megabits per second and this one is 32.5 I want to make sure 32 times 0.75 equals yep 24 and the Vizio is 2560 I believe what they did was uh, uh, they've um, compressed the 2.5K resolution down to 1080. So that's a 2560 width and the height is uh, 1080. And again the profile level, everything is good. Now we do the uh, last one which is uh, 4K. Bit rate is 50 megabits per second. Minimum again, I uh, like uh, 75%, 375, and uh, max is 50.5. And we come over here and change the uh, resolution 3840 and 2160. Again, the profile level is a 65380, and everything it looks good. Then we save and exit. Save. Again, the uh, the reason we come to the edit uh, workspace is so that the um, Power Doctor does not access the uh, profile in e file. So now I gotta go. Uh, let me. Where am I going? Here? Okay, I just go back to the, my uh, uh, outfit folder, and then um, we are going to clear. You could uh, clear the, both the timeline and the uh, timeline and the workspace. Just going over to here and say new project. Do you want to save it? No. And then go ahead and uh, bring in the project that you want to change your aspect ratio. So at this time, we are going to compress this video. So if your workspace is uh, set at 16 by 9, change that to 4 by 3 once you change to 4 by 3 then bring the video down to the timeline and then power doctor is going to give you error message aspect ratio conflict do you want to change it now no and this is why see I have a compressed so now it's a top and bottom has a black bars I'm going to do some um, uh, short uh, editing here Okay, I've done my little editing, then I'll go to the produce. And the container that I want to uh, produce is already chosen. Then I go to custom. First one is a 2.35 to 1. Cinema wide, and I'm going to fake aspect ratio. And uh, since it's uh, unsupported resolution, see right here, you don't, you don't have a hardware acceleration at all. You don't, you don't get no support. Yep, no love. 
Okay, so we come here to um, alpha folder, name the file. It's going to be 4 by 3. That is the name of the file that we are going to compress and then we're going to stretch. And then start. Okay, at this time, um, I'd like to thank uh, Tomas for me to walk down the uh, family road. Uh, back in 2014, um, I've succeeded in um, uh, producing the uh, 2.35 to 1, 21 by 9, and um, uh, 4K, of course, I've done that before. But um, it was the player that couldn't dis uh, correctly display the aspect ratio. I was using the um, Media Player Classic. You couldn't uh, play uh, correct aspect ratio. And uh, Tomasi is one uh, corrected me, and so I, I came back, and um, it was the player settings. I will show you the um, uh, correct uh, player settings on uh, Media Player Classic and also the um, DivX player. I have a faster computer now, so uh, it rendered a 30 second uh, video in about two, a little bit over two minutes. So we'll go back to the edit page and then we'll look at the uh, properties resolution 3840, 16 by 34. It says aspiration 4 by 3, but actually it's not. Only thing that did was just uh, compress it. Okay, now I'm going to clear the uh, timeline and bring down the produce 4 by 3 to the timeline and now now we're going to stretch this video so at this time um, your workspace is 4 by 3 but now now change to 16 by 9 this is what's happening right here so now we're going to uh, stretch it so to get rid of the um, uh, black bars left and right you come down to the um, timeline the video and right click and go to set aspect ratio and here you're going to choose the aspect ratio of the video is 4 by 3 and stretch clip to the 16 by 9 now if you go here the user CRV PV to stretch then this is what you're going to get which is not a uh, 2.35 to 1 ratio so go ahead Go back to the original one, the stretch clip to 16 by 9, and apply to the all video clips on the timeline, then OK. And bam, and this is what you get right here. So after this, you go to produce, containers, MPEG 4. Now we go back to custom. We're not going to choose that, but we're going to choose the normal 4K quad full high definition. And again, because the uh, uh, 4K resolution is not supported, so you don't get no hardware acceleration. So you come up to your file, you say final 2.35 to 1, and start. And done. Go back to the edit page. And then we look at the um, result on the video's property. Resolution 3840 by 2160, 16 by 9, yada yada. But, and this is what we got. And I'm going to double click. This is the uh, 2.35 to 1 ratio and with the black borders again uh, this is what you have to have in order to display the uh, correct aspect ratio this is the uh, media player classic for your visual people if uh, workspace is um, 4 by 3 go ahead and change to 16 by 9 all, you do, all you're going to do is compress the video so after uh, you change back to the uh, 16 by 9 workspace, go ahead and go to Produce and choose the um, container. 
which is the MPEG-4 and custom profile which is the Vizio 21 by 9 and since uh, this is um, not supported resolution therefore the uh, hardware acceleration is disabled and come here and name produce Vizio 21 by 9 and start and done and looking at the property of a resultant uh, video is 21 by 9. I will go to the uh, output folder and look at the um, produced video. Since uh, this is a full uh, high definition, I have to shrink this down to uh, 50%. As you can see, this is the um, 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Again, uh, this is a Media Player Classic. Make sure that uh, your settings are here so that uh, it will display the correct aspect ratio. And I have uh, produced smaller one. And this is the um, high definition and the visual is a um, quad high definition now I'm going to show to you in um, DivX player and the settings you have to set to a free aspect ratio then you get you get the uh, proper um, display also as you can see the um, the visio 21 by 9 does not have any borders. It is a borderless video. Going back to the um, 2.35 to 1 cinema wide anamorphic aspect ratio and play with um, DivX player, it will show you um, black borders. So you could create either the um, bordered or borderless depending on your taste. So, uh, thank you for um, watching my tutorial. If you have any uh, questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section and I will do my best to help you. Aloha. Oh, that's right. It's legal here. I know. Uh, don't. Well, feather oil is illegal. Well, wait, wait, till, wait till Trump comes in and they'll be all, all back to illegal again. Uh -huh, I'm going 31 miles an hour. Because I'm videotaping Solida. You wanna stop anywhere? No. Body world. Warpangers. <laughs> yes. What a name. Yes. Browns yes. Canyon. Hey, I knew it. I knew my grandpappy left me something. <laughs>